I'm Phoebe from Rugs.ie and today I'm going to talk to you about how to choose a runner for your hallway. Firstly, it's really important to make sure that you measure your space. If you have a large rectangular hall and it's a big entranceway, then we don't recommend you use a runner. It would be more suitable to have a rectangular shaped rug and make sure that it looks balanced. Runners are really only if you have a long corridor and they're just to fill that space to make it look good. You don't want the runner to be wall to wall. You want there to be symmetry and you need to leave a little gap around the runner. So when you're measuring, try and see to your eye line what would look good and centered in the space. If you have many doorways, it can be good to choose a line and go from there. Make sure you also measure with clearance for your door. So if it's your main entrance hall, you need to be able to fully open your door in and then give yourself a little bit of a gap so that people aren't wiping your feet on your lovely new runner. Secondly, it's obviously really important to make sure that what you buy is durable. Your hallway is usually the main area where people are going over and back all of the time. So this rug is going to get heavy use. Natural fibers like wool and cotton are durable, easy to keep, have good wearability and look good for longer. As well as this, jute and sisal can be a good option. You just need to note that these can't be wet washed. So if you live in Ireland like we do and there's lots of rain, they can get staining if there's water stains over them. However, if it's dry dirt, you can brush them clean and they're relatively easy to keep. Polyester or polypropylene are good options too, but just not suitable if you have underfloor heating. They are quite durable though. Finally, avoid viscose and silk-like fibres if possible. While these have a sheen and they can look really good, they can't be wet cleaned. They're dry clean only for the most part. And so they're not the best option where you know there's going to be lots of muddy boots. And then style, make sure it's something that you love, but also allow your personality to shine in this space. It's the first impression to your home. So you want people to get a good impression of something that really looks good. Quite often, we don't have a lot of color in the hall. So maybe picking something that will have continuity into the next rooms, a color that might suit is a good idea. If you like Persian pieces and you like Persian designs, they're a really good option because they're super durable, they're made to last, and they add lots of character and style to a space. It isn't a room where you sit looking at a piece, so you're far less likely to tire of your hallway rug. So making sure that it's something vibrant and bold is a good idea. It's a room that you can be playful with. Next up is placement. Just making sure that it's symmetrical, that it looks good, Maybe map it out with some tape or sheets if you have them to hand and really visualize what that space is going to look like. Making sure again that you have a border around so you can still see a bit of floor. If you have a console table in your hall, for example, still give yourself a little bit of a gap from that console table. You can also use runners in between, say, twin beds. And um, if you have a little strip down the center, that can look quite good or quite often our customers put them between their kitchen island and their sink, the heavy traffic areas to protect a timber floor, but make sure that you pick something that's really durable for this space. Indoor outdoor rugs can be good if you don't have underfloor heating, or again, wool or cotton, easy to clean, wipeable, they're really good options. Finally, when you're buying your runner, make sure you buy underlay to keep it in situ. No matter how dense the pile is on a runner, it's not going to be heavy enough to keep itself in place because it's just a strip. So it's more likely to move than other rugs. We sell pre-cut underlay to the size of your runner. So make sure you purchase it at the time. As well as this, it protects your floor and it makes sure that people aren't going to trip over your new lovely runner. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like our video. And if you love interiors as much as we do, please subscribe to our channel.